Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Ali and this is another video of network monitoring and analysis and today we'll focus on packet beat to help you gain deep insights into your network uh, traffic. In this video we'll talk about what packet beat is, where to capture the traffic and how to install and set up packet beat. So what is packet beat? It is a powerful open source network packet analyzer developed by Elastic th that captures and analyzes traffic from your networks or your hosts and sends them to Elasticsearch in order to understand what's happening on your network at the packet level. Think of a Wireshark capture but ingested and indexed into Elasticsearch and with the built-in dashboards in Kibana you can look at your network flows, DNS and HTTP stats um, data inside these packets decoded and correlated and fields extracted so you can search on specific values and even build your custom visualizations. The way to set up packet beat depends on the use case and scenario. Some people might be interested in monitoring DNS response times or maybe HTTP status codes over time in the network or maybe monitor traffic flows to a specific server or maybe monitor the traffic in a remote site. Whatever the use case might be, uh, I will show you on the whiteboard a couple of options of setup. The first one is port mirroring. You mirror a port, for example, in this case, we're mirroring this port that connects to the gateway and all the LAN traffic goes through this port and the destination will be to a server where you install packet beat and then packet beat will parse that uh, traffic or parse those packets and sends them to Elasticsearch. The other scenario is if you want to look at the traffic going in and out of a specific server, you can install packet beat on the server itself and monitor the interface on the server. You can install packet beat as I will do in this uh, tutorial, or you can use Elastic Agent. I have another video explaining how to set up Fleet Server and the agents. Um, you can check it out. I will link it in the description. In the case that you can't install Packet Beat or the Elastic Agent on the host you want to monitor, if it's an appliance, for example, you can install Packet Beat on a different server and you will have to go back to port mirroring this port to this port. In this tutorial, I chose to mirror a port that carries all my wireless traffic and mirror it to a Linux server. It's actually my Raspberry Pi 4 and I'm going to uh, install PacketBeat on it and put it to use. Here's my Raspberry Pi. It's running Oracle Linux 9.1 and depending on your appliances and your environment, uh, you can set up the mirroring. I have an HP switch and the mirrored port is already uh, set up. And now I'm just going to jump into the installation and configuration. So just a recap, my scenario is similar to this. I'm going to be mirroring this port to this port right here. This port will ca is carrying all my wireless traffic from all the wireless clients and sending it to this Raspberry Pi here running packet beat and packet beat will send the data to Elasticsearch. And to install packet beat, we're gonna search packet beat installation or go to this link here and I'm going to access the documentation and then the installation and configuration. First, it tells you here you have to have a stack and Elasticsearch and Kibana and you can check my other video on how to install Elasticsearch and Kibana. And then it tells you here, on most platforms you need this library, PCAP, uh, it's a packet capture library. And I'm going to check my system if I have it installed. And I think I have it installed already. Yep. Yeah. And then I can jump into installing packet beat. Depending on your, your operating system, you can select the different uh, commands here, but I'm going to choose the repository for uh, yum. 
scrolling down here, I already installed the public signing key and created this uh, repo file in this directory. And all I have to do is type in yum install packet beat. And by default, it will look for the latest version, but I'm not running uh, the latest Elasticsearch version, so I'm going to match what I have. Um, this is Kibana here. I have version 8.6.2. So I'm just going to say no and repeat that command and specify 8.6.2. And here it is, I'm just gonna say yes. And it will download and install. I fast forward the video through the installation and now it is complete. Next, I have to enable packet beat. System control, enable packet beat. And this is done. Clear. I can go back here and go to the next step. Now I have to connect to the Elastic Stack. And this is an important uh, part. We're going to the packet beat YAML file. Uh, we're going to take care of four important things. How to connect to Elasticsearch so that packet beat can send the data to Elasticsearch. Connect to Kibana so that packet beat uh, loads the pre-built dashboards. Select the interface that packet beat will listen on and the protocols. So first of all, we're going to go to the packet beat YAML file. Uh, first thing, I'm going to go to the Elasticsearch output. Here is the Elasticsearch output. I'm going to specify the host the protocol, the username and password, um, and I'm going to, to put the certificate. Um, I'm gonna specify the certificate that will connect to the Elasticsearch cluster. So I have three nodes here. Specify protocol HTTPS. My password is very simple. Just W. I'm going to enable SSL, specify the certificate authority, and this is a CI certificate. I moved it from uh, my Elasticsearch node, and I have another video on how to uh, set security, uh, set up security in Elasticsearch. Next, I'm going to the Kibana uh, setup, or setup.kibana in the YAML file, and it is just above that. I'm going to specify the host. I have Kibana running on another host. So I'm going to specify that. And I'm going to add a username and password and the certificate. And this is because I need PacketBeat to load the dashboards. And it tells you here, um, the username needs to have the Kibana underscore admin built in role to be able to access Kibana and load these uh, dashboards. And I can show you here, you can create it under stack management, users. And this is the user, you can create one and give it this role. And after that, we will need to configure uh, sniffing at the top of this file. You have this option here to select the device or the interface um, that your server is listening on. My Raspberry Pi uh, is connected through Ethernet uh, interface. I'm going to specify that. 
and to know what device uh, or what the interface is called you can run this command packet beat devices on the console so I'm just going to save here go back packet beat devices as will give you a list of devices mine is Ethernet 0 it's connected through this one so I'm going back and specifying that I'm gonna keep this as default everything here as default the protocols you can specify your protocols um, and the ports I'm just gonna keep everything as is it's good enough and you can specify different things here the number of shards for the index uh, the name for example I'm gonna add rpi for packet b this will be added as a field in the events uh, just to identify the fields and now we're done with the packet b yaml file to step four now to set up the assets it will load um, or it will create the index and the visualizations or the dashboards for us I'm gonna run this command packet beat setup dash e just to see this output here on the console index setup finished loading dashboards and kibana must be running for that and it is loading it's connecting to kibana and loading those those dashboards successfully successfully loaded and now all we have to do is start packet beat and now it is started and now we can go to kibana and access uh, discover go to select packet beat and we can see the data flowing to our Elasticsearch cluster and we can check all these events and look at the data coming into our cluster and the best part is the pre-built dashboards there are a few pre-built dashboards the overview here you have a e map with the client IP locations and other ones here for HTTP transactions, TLS sessions, uh, errors and successful transactions. This is the overview. You can look at the network flows, uh, top hosts creating traffic and receiving traffic. And you have a table view here, HTTP transactions, a dashboard for HTTP uh, transactions and many more and you can also create your custom dashboards or and your custom visualizations in this video we talked about packet beat how to install it and set it up it is recommended to set it up in a development environment first you have to plan uh, where to capture the traffic at which point in your network you could be dealing with large amount of uh, traffic uh, it could be at 10 gigabit interface 10 gigabit per second or 20 gigabit per second uh, or maybe less you have to plan on which system is going to run packet beat how much resources you're going to give it and the index for packet beat can get very large depending on your data volume uh, so it's just uh, recommended to run it in a development environment first if you found this video helpful uh, I would appreciate if you uh, hit the like button and consider subscribing if you want to see more of these videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.